Hey guys, it's me, Bricks Mandalore, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at this LEGO World War II mock, which is D-Day plus maybe seven. So this is a week after the landings at Normandy. So what this mock depicts is US paratroopers, as seen here, um, who have been held up in this town for a while, and they are being reinforced by a group of US infantry soldiers which you can see over there. So, let's get into the mock. So down here you can see here where they've been trying to hold out. This is a, um, sort of a, there'd be another building here, and obviously this is just a wall. So it would have been sort of like a path, for a footpath for people to walk down, and they've captured a lieutenant. So, if you see here, this guy looks like he's just run out and he's been shot in the back, or in the front, by the machine gun post over there. And it's just collapsed, and his BAR's on the floor now. So then you got this guy here, who's like trying to scramble out of the way of the machine gun fire. However, if you look over here, you can see that this guy around here, with his BAR, has managed to take out the MG for 40, 34, not 42. Um, now if we move along here, so he is interrogating him. Uh, he's just sort of got his hand on him and asking him some questions. So if we move the mock around a bit, see this side of the mock? You can see this paratrooper just conveying information to the infantry soldier here. Just trying to make sure they're all on the same track. So there's one of weapons left around, probably uh, ones from other paratroopers who never actually got their weapons or have died and lost them. So as you can see, this guy here has clearly died. He must have gone in here expecting it to be empty just to find a load of Germans. So his friend threw in a grenade, which you can see there. And it's thrown them all, blown up, thrown them all to the side. They all dropped their weapons and are dead. But this guy just decided to come in with his M1 Grand to check it out, make sure they're all dead. So if we move the moth around again, you can see all these supply crates. A variety of weapons being used by the Germans. So they're general, they're just regular Wehrmacht troops. However, to reinforce them, they've sent in some ones in a sort of camouflage look. Uh, so he's probably less accurate for this front. He's uh, more of a maybe SS uh, camo or North Africa camo, but he's got his Car 98. This guy also came in with a MP40, and this guy with an STG-44. So as you can see, one of them has clearly been shot, and so is that guy down there. And that's the original MG-34 uh, gunner, but he's died as well. Uh, if you just look, there's random piece of detail broken up, all that. So these guys are probably gonna end up dying unless they get reinforced by maybe a Panzer uh, Tiger, which I doubt the, Amer the German army actually would allow that. Uh, because there isn't that, actually that many tigers, even though in every film you'll see a tiger tank, because apparently, according to Hollywood, there was hundreds of thousands of tiger tanks. So, thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more. I generally upload every week. Might sometimes maybe even upload twice a week. I just finished the Battle of the Somme, which was a large muck I was doing. Well, not that large, but it was bigger than this. Three times bigger. Um, and I've also got Gallipoli along the way. And after that I'm doing The Done, which should be starting soon. So look forward to that. Subscribe for more. Like the video. Comment down below suggestions for the next mock of this size. Not Obviously not the big ones because I already know what I'm doing in terms of big mocks. So just comment below and tell me. Goodbye.